Amber, I could go for a butter burger about now. Every day at oh, this time, gosh. yes. But it'd be really good right now. I'm very <laughs> hungry. And if I was in Oregon, it could happen because they are celebrating the grand opening of their Culver's today. Rachel Perry has been following this story for months. She has you covered on why some say this is about more than just the food. Welcome to delicious. And with that, it's official. The wait is finally over. <laughs> yeah. It was only a few months ago the Oregon community got wind of a Culver's coming to town. Everybody's wanted Culver's for years and years and years. Dreaming of butter burgers and fries, one man just couldn't wait. I'm aching for french fries. Dana Tarion took matters into his own hands, building his very own Culver's. When the opportunity presented itself, we ran with it. Believe it or not, this isn't the busiest this parking lot has been. At one point, more than 1,500 cars were parked here. Smaller ones, of course. But then everybody caught the joke, and they brought everything. You saw the dinosaurs, the spaceships, the everything that we had out there. People using their imagination. One by one, the parking lot of toys grew and grew. Craig Culver even joined in. They were so persistent on getting Culver's to Oregon. Three little toy trucks or whatever they were, all of a sudden it was almost 1,700. Got to say thank you to them. For months, Dana and the community watched as their dream became a reality. We did it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Looking back at it all, Dana tells me it's now clear. It wasn't just about the food, but instead became something much bigger than that. It's brought everybody together. It's the, the thing I hear over and over again. People that uh, are divided between different things that they want to do around the city find something in common that they like and they can really get fired up about, and it's brought people together. In Oregon, Rachel Perry, 27 News.